Smith with People, and we're here at the Toronto International Film Festival, and we're in the DEW and People's TIFF studio talking with the director and actor behind the new movie Sanctuary, which is world premiering today at the festival. Welcome, Zach and Chris. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Thanks. So this is a wonderful, very twisted, very sexual uh, chamber piece of a thriller drama. I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's unlike anything I've really seen. Um, what drew you both to the source material? Well, what was interesting for me, I had been interested in the idea of making a film about a dominatrix for a little while. And I think what was interesting about that idea was that um, a dominatrix occupies a kind of paradoxical position in the sense that she has total control over her client, but she also at the same time has zero control over her client. Um, so that was kind of like my first inkling of being interested in telling a story set in this realm a number of years back. And then the genesis of the story itself came from a conversation that I had with my friend Michael Bloomberg, who wrote the film. Uh, he, it was June 2020. We were both very uh, stir-crazy and needed something to do. Uh, he was in LA, I was in New York, and um, he uh, proposed this idea of just developing something together. He would write it, I would direct it. And uh, we started talking about ideas, and uh, this idea came up. I had pitched something very vague about a, a thriller with the dominatrix who attempts to rob a client, and he had written a one-act play a number of years earlier uh, about a dominatrix and a client in a hotel room, and we, uh, we went from there. I, um, I was running out of money, and uh, <laughs> so I thought, you made it what, what movie. better way to do this <laughs> little movie? Uh, <laughs> No, I mean, just the, it was uh, when Zach sent it, and Micah, the writer I know as well, um, you know, it's just like a, it's a two-hander, and it feels, it feels almost like a play, and, um, you know, I hadn't, at that point, I hadn't worked in, in a little while, and I, I, I thought this would be a good challenge, and, uh, you know, and just, and I hadn't worked on a play in a while also, so I felt like I was sort of getting, being able to do a, a film that was very well written, and with the sense of sort of, feeling like I was doing like a theatrical sure. piece as well. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, it's contained and it's just two people and you can kind of just go in and, and you know, play scenes with w Margaret, one, one person the, the, the whole time. It was just, there was a lot of fun, there, there was a lot of fun and challenging elements to, to want this script and wanting to do it. I'm sure the, the script reads like a play as you described it, but the film feels so cinematic. How did you open it up for the screen? Um, well, thank you. That was one of the things that was very interesting to me in sort of like a stylistic or formal challenge at the beginning. Um, how it was done was, it's, it's a long story, but in a nutshell, basically, it was this early stylistic idea to try to give each sequence a different visual approach. Um, each sequence having a visual or stylistic approach that was under the same basic umbrella of psychological thriller as the other sequences, but each sequence being given a slightly different tweak. So one being mostly locked off, the camera doesn't move, but it's still tense. A different sequence being all steady cam, but applying tension in a different way, going through the whole script like that, um, and giving these different formal approaches, I think was helpful in that regard. Did you approach the preparation for this like going into a play? Was there an extensive rehearsal process before? Uh, going to camera? No, right? Not really. We did a, w what we did was we did the read through with you guys. Right. That was the first thing we did. We, we read it through, uh, or Chris and Margaret read it through. Um, and then after that, we did two rehearsals. One was the one that That's we right. did at, at Margaret's to just sort of like get everybody's feet wet. We did a, a rehearsal of the opening scene of the film. Um, and then after that, we did on the stage where we shot it, we did one blocking rehearsal of the scene that probably had the most complex blocking where everybody's, you know, one goes here, the other goes there. It's a lot of very specific stuff. Um, but that was basically it because you, I don't know about, you know, your feelings, but for me it's like you want to let people kind of find it in the moment on the day, so to speak. Yeah, there's not enough time to rehearse it like a play properly, mm -hmm. obviously, you know. Um, because it's like a, it'll be like a month of rehearsals. But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, but the thing is, you know, Margaret and I would also just sort of Run, run scenes together. I mean, the script was pretty set and tight, you know, from, from the get-go, so there wasn't, uh, you know, we didn't have to worry about the script changing or improvising much or, you know, it was pretty set. And so, again, when you're just working with one other person the whole time, it's easy to sort of get together and sort of focus in and dial in. 
This movie really, really lives or dies based on the chemistry between you and Margaret. And I'm just curious if you knew her before or how you guys developed that rapport to, to bring Yeah, Margaret, to Margaret and I were always sort of like trying to find a thing to do together. And, uh, and, and then finally, of course, like this, this felt kind of perfect because, again, it's just me and her. You know, it's just yeah. me and her. It's like we're not, you know, uh, we get to play around. Yeah, no, we, I, I really, I, I think she's a great actress and she's a good friend and I'm happy that this was the one we got to get together on. How did you, de sorry, how did you develop that trust with her though, just given the subject material and how far this movie goes? Well, it helped, I mean, it helped that I knew her already too. Yeah. So we can, you know, we were able to talk about it uh, quite a bit before, you know, and you know, I don't, you know, it's, this, I, I, let's not forget like the movie I think is like quite fun. I, I don't think it's like a, you know, it's not particularly heavy. You mm -hmm. know, what I mean, it's and it's sort of surreal. There's a lot of surreal elements. So, I, I think you have a lot of uh, freedom when you sort of, you know, the boundaries are kind of expanded when you have that much freedom in a script like this. There's not, we're not having to like stick to any sort of real world. Uh, uh, I don't know. There's no like real world downfalls in it. You know. Yeah. You guys got to do some expressionistic kind of acting in certain ways. That it seemed like anyway. Yeah. Exactly. It's sort of. Uh, yeah. Yes. You're no stranger to filming uncomfortably intimate situations, given your time on Girls and, and now this. Do you ever get nervous before filming an intimate scene? An intimate scene? You know what I mean? Like a sexual scene? Yeah, a sexual scene. Um, um, no, it's really, uh, do I get nervous? No, I mean, you know, what am I like? <laughs> where like someone's gonna see my dingus or something like that? Like, I don't know, like, uh, no, not really. I don't really have any shame. Um, <laughs> which is, which helps, um, but you know when it's you just work with people that you trust and you like. It's easy. You can talk about it. You know, I, I don't get too deep into it. Where you know, it's it's a uh, no. It's good. It's easy. You seem very selective in your filmography. You take you take on indies that really have something to say and a point of view. And I'm just wondering what goes into your decision making when it comes to taking on projects. Um, the, I don't know. There's no big picture plan, really. I just uh, try to do something different when you can. It's just, it's sort of like the right thing at the right, it's all timing too, right? So it's, it's the age I am mixed with the thing I feel like doing at that time, you know? Um, it's, uh, it's a gamble though. So, you know, movies take a long time to make and sometimes, you know, uh, they don't, you, you want to do a script, but it doesn't get made for another couple of years and then you sort of fall out of love with it because it's been too long. So everything, there's a lot of uh, elements that sort of need to match up, I, I think. But um, it's it's really just like gut feeling and a mood. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, you two, thank for coming you. by the Thanks. Tiff, uh, studio. And definitely see Sanctuary where whenever it comes out. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Nigel. Thank you. Thank you.